All right, and welcome back to Mr. Felstrom's Precalc Cast. Today's benchmark, benchmark 24.2, composite functions. Uh, we're going to find the composite function, and that's where you plug in a function into the other function and get a new function. So here we're asked to find g of f of x. So that's uh, g of f of x. So take the function f, which is 4x squared minus 3x plus 1, and plug that into the x for the function g, negative 2x cubed plus 5x. So we will have negative 2 times 4x squared minus 3x plus 1 cubed plus 5 times 4x squared minus 3x plus 1. Okay, now as nice as it would be if we could just distribute the power and we can't do that, we actually have to uh, multiply those out three times. So 4x squared minus 3x plus 1 times 4x squared minus 3x plus 1. If I multiply that out, we get 16 x to the fourth minus 24 x to the third plus 17 x squared minus 6x plus 1. So that's uh, 4x squared minus 3x plus 1 squared. Now I've got to multiply it again by another 4x squared minus 3x plus 1. And we will get a very large polynomial somewhere in the neighborhood of 64x to the 6th minus 144x to the 5th plus 156x to the 3rd minus 99x squared excuse me, x. that's x to the 4th and that's x to the 3rd plus 39x squared minus 9x plus 1. Now all of that is multiplied by negative 2. So I'm going to have to go ahead and just now distribute in the negative 2. And I get negative 128x to the 6th plus 288x to the 5th minus 312x to the 4th plus 198x to the 3rd minus 78x squared plus 18x minus 2. And that's this first portion of the function. And then we also have 5 times f of x. That's going to be a little bit easier. We got 20x squared minus 15x and plus 5. And so combining all the like terms, I get my final answer g of f of x equaling negative 128 x to the sixth plus 288 x to the fifth minus 312 x to the fourth plus 198 x to the third minus 58 x squared plus 3 x plus 3 and there you have it. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.